Hello everyone, greetings. My name is Abhishek and I am Lead Salesforce Consultant at Webpool Software Private Limited. In today's video, I am going to talk about the notification you might be seeing on your screen says enhanced domains are enforced in Spring 23. We recommend that you test and deploy this high impact feature before enhancement. So what is the enhanced domain for the Salesforce is showing you the notification for? So basically Salesforce has revised the date and they are going to enforce this by the winter 24 release and for the assurance so that you can test out all your URLs they have already deployed in your test dog and uh, the development dog by the 23 release of winter 23, spring 23 and summer 23. Okay, so enhanced domains are basically the current version of the my domain that meets your latest browser requirement and with the enhanced domains it's very easier for you know user to remember and don't change when you all this move to the salesforce instance so this is going to be helpful in future when salesforce is going to enforcing it so basically why i'm covering up this topic is what will be the impact on the e-shop scene for shopify and what you need to do once this enhanced domain is deployed in the salesforce org so as you can see, you don't see the notification in my Salesforce org right now because in the Salesforce org, this enhanced domain is already enabled. So if I click on my domain, basically the navigation is my domain. And in the my domain, you will see this setup. It says use enhanced domain is already enabled. So once this domain is already enabled here, we need to click on this edit button. Right now you see there is showing a site validation here, error, okay? So you basically need to select your site from this, okay? And click on save and proceed. So what we are going to do here, we are just going to resave the whole configuration and that's all it needs. So it's going to be save the configuration. I will again click on save and proceed. Make sure we are not changing anything and save and proceed, save and proceed, save and proceed and save the configuration. Perfect. Now the configuration is saved and everything will be work as fine. And still if you have any concern, please contact us at support at the rate Thank you for this video. Please stay in touch. Have a good day.